Hey guys, it's day two of the Rainbow Thon, and I just last minute decided to start doing a vlog for this because um, it's been forever since I've done a vlog for anything. But um, before, so before anyone else gets on this train and makes me look silly, um, at home I've been reading Dragonfly and Amber on my Kindle, and when that's the orange book, I. Uh, borrowed the ebook from the library, so um, that happened right before Rainbowthon, pretty much. So I was already like a fourth of the way into it before Rainbowthon started, and then I decided to make it the orange book because I really, really, really like that series. Um, but while I'm not at home, I have been reading The Goose Girl, and I'm halfway through now. I just got done with band practice, and I have another like hour and a half of a bus slash train ride home, so I could probably get like a good chunk more of the way into this by the time I get home. We interrupt this program for some adorable puppies. Hey guys, it is now day three of the Rainbow Thon. I've been reading um, Dragonfly and Amber on my Kindle um, as the orange book. I am um, now halfway through this and I have been reading The Goose Girl while I've been out and about and I am now halfway through this. And I made one more change besides the orange book uh, to my original TBR, and that is the purple book. The purple book is now Soulless by Gail Carriger because I was already reading this before Rainbowthon started and I only had like 70 pages to go or something like that. So I thought, hey, why not make this the purple book? And I am now 40 pages away from the end. But since I've mostly only read, um, like, only read this on one bus ride um, during this readathon. Um, I'm not finished with it yet. Duck, 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 goose. Ah, damn it. No, don't lick the camera. Let it be known that this book seriously uses the phrase a sharp looking knife okay um yeah pretty pretty pointless you can just say a knife and what he's doing with it is already going to be scary you don't have to tell us that it's sharp looking because have you ever heard of a knife that wasn't sharp looking okay so so this this knife right here does this does this look sharp to you? Is this a sharp looking knife? Well, guess what? It's dull as fuck. It is not a sharp knife at all. But it still looks sharp, right? Look at that. Look, it still looks sharp. So, um, the fact that this book seriously just just said a sharp looking knife, he approached her with a sharp looking knife. Like, no, that doesn't that doesn't make any sense. You don't need that. You just don't. Okay, so this is the second to last day of the Rainbowthon, and I finished Soulless yesterday. Um, not that I had that much of it left to go. Um, I only had like 70 pages left before this readathon started anyway, so it's not like it took that long. Um, so purple book down. Um, I'm also almost done with the Goose Girl. I have only... 70 pages to go, maybe just 60, I'm not sure. I am still reading Dragonfly and Amber. I am now apparently about 62% of the way through it, and I looked up the number of pages that this book actually has and done the calculations, and so I'm about 470 pages into it. So I only, you know, I can probably finish it tomorrow, maybe, hopefully. Um, this, I may even finish it today. My, my band is filming a music video, um, and this is gonna be really awesome. I'm going to vlog the entire thing separately for my band's YouTube channel, so I'll link the I'll link that channel down below so you can check it out. Um, but I will include some of that footage on this vlog too. Um, I have to leave in about an hour, and we're gonna be there from about 4.30 p.m. to midnight. Anyway. <laughs> I'm gonna take the goose girl with me so that I can probably finish it while I'm there because we're gonna be there for forever. Um, and I'm also going to take the blue book with me, which is Ariel by Stephen R. Boyett. And I have been meaning to get to this book for way too 
long. Hey guys, it's me. I don't look like myself at all, but we are here filming the fabulous music video and we're not going to tell you what song it is. So, uh, at least not yet. We're not. I have no idea. A dramatic wardrobe change for more footage. Okay, I'm wiping the fingerprints off of my base one more time. Some remnants of black lipstick is still, they just, it just won't come off, so I don't know. Um, but anyway, I have like 15 pages left of the Goose Girl, so uh, I am going to finish this book before I go to bed. It is past midnight, but oh well. It's like 1, actually. Yeah, it's like 1.30. Goodness. Um, so then tomorrow is the last day of the rainbow Thon. So, so far I am- I have definitely read- like, finishing this book will definitely put me over 800 pages for this readathon, and since my goal, like, my minimum for every readathon is a thousand pages, um, I hopefully will finish 200 pages tomorrow. Um, if I can, you know, finish Dragonfly and Amber tomorrow, that would be great, so that then later I can start the third one. But anyway, I guess until tomorrow. So I read some more of Dragonfly and Amber this morning, and now we're out and about, so I didn't bring my Kindle, so I just brought Ariel, and so I finally started this, and it's really good so far. Um, I think it's really weird that um, uh, S.M. Sterling took inspiration from this, from his Change series, but this is like 20 years older. Uh, like, yeah, this is, so this is like 20 years older than the Change series, and yet this edition is blurbed by S.M. Sterling, so I find that really odd. Um, I don't know, because you'd think it would be Stephen R. Boyett blurbing uh, S.M. Sterling's books, I don't know. But it's really weird because both um, of them call the, the um, incident that happens where all technology stops working the Change, which is a really cheesy name. But I wonder if, like, Stephen R. Boyett harbored any resentment towards S.M. Sterling for, like, stealing that concept. And this is iPod. She is here reading with me. iPod, say hello. She hates being on camera, but she's been such a good sport posing for Instagram photos with books. So, I don't know. She is silly. Her name is iPod, but I call her Nosepod because it's funny. No. She's like, stop filming me. Hi everyone. So the Rainbow Thon is now over. It is the day after the Rainbow Thon. Um, and let's talk about the books that I read. So the first book that I finished was Soulless by Gail Carriger and I was already like most of the way through this book um, by the time that Rainbow Thon started. So I read the last like 70 pages of this and this was the purple book because um, Gail Carriger's name is written in purple on the back and I guess you could also argue that it's the red book too because um, the title is written in pink and pink is basically whitish red. I don't know. Then I read the last 350 pages of The Goose Girl. Um, I had started this already but like barely, it was barely into it at all. Um, and this was the green book but I guess you could also argue that it has yellow on it too. I don't know. And I got 80% of the way through Dragonfly and Amber on my Kindle, and that is the orange book. And um, I'm probably like the only one who read an ebook for Rainbow Thon, but I don't even really care. Um, I know this book is orange. It is like bright orange and just orange, so I say it counts. And holy crap, is it amazing. I just have 20% more of the book to go. I could probably read it today. And lastly, I got 70 pages into Ariel by Stephen R. Boyett, and this is obviously the blue book. So, yay, those are the books that I read, and uh, this readathon has been awesome! 
Um, let me know what you read if you participated down in the comments, and I will see you soon with another video. Bye!